How we doing out there? Facebook land. Fiddle hell. How's it going, everybody? Rob Flax here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a, a marvelous Wednesday. I don't know about you, but uh, I've got the blues. Just came back from the uh, dentist earlier today. And uh, my teeth are cleaner, but ooh, they poked around real good. So, mm. feeling, uh, feeling tender. Going to express that through song. <laughs> So uh, I've got a few instruments here and I'm going to play for you a few things. How's the audio sound? Okay, can you hear me? What's up, Matt? What's up, Sarah? Right. Well, we're getting to here. It is. It's five o'clock. So uh, I thought I'd get started here. Got a lot of great songs planned for you, and uh, posted the list earlier in the, this this group and also on the event page for this. I'm gonna be mixing them up. Can I, Arco? Can I? Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely. Video's good. Only thing that's ever changing is the sunlight, but that's okay. We'll manage that. Over to this cam. Oh yeah, multicam day. Woohoo! Oh yeah, new technology. Very exciting. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit of a crazy setup here. Here's my uh, pedal board down below, and uh, I'm gonna start off with a request. This was a request from somebody who took the looping class with myself and Andy Reiner before to sing a uh, pedagogical blues and this is one that I learned from Tracy Silverman many years ago I don't know if he wrote it or where it came from but I thought I'd share it with you now now I've got a little drum groove here in my looper I played it on uh, this uh, played it on uh, this this here iPad I'll try to avoid using a lot of technology, but I thought it was appropriate to have a drum group for this pedagogical blues. Most blues, 12 bars, and it goes in three phrases. So this is a nice way to remember that. That's the one chord. I'm in A right now. Then the four chord, that's a D. Then the five, then the four, the second phrase of the blues is the same as the first, uh -huh. the second phrase of the blues is the same as the first, yeah, all right. The third phrase of the blues is slightly different from the second and the first. All right, you got it? Try to sing it with me. <laughs> oh, the second phrase of the blues is the same as the first. Oh, the second phrase of the blues is the same as the first. The third phrase of the blues is slightly different from the second and the first. All right, so now I'm going to try that. I'm going to play a phrase, and I'm going to do it again. There's phrase one. There's phrase two. <laughs> Your turn. Give it a shot. Try some phrases. All 
All right. <laughs> All right, I like what you're playing. <laughs> oh, David put some set list in the in the chat. That's very nice. All right, my turn. You guess what's coming next? tuning in. All right, let's do some more. Okay, that's my first phrase. I bet I could do that again. It's a little different, but that's all right. <laughs> That's a uh, that's enough looping for a while, I think. Let's get away from all that. Hey, <laughs> oh, thanks for all the kind words. All right, <laughs> that's a that's a reasonable guess. All right, so I think maybe now let's do a uh, let's do a blues by Jimi Hendrix. And uh, Jimi played this one in uh, in E flat on the recording, but that's just because. He tuned his guitar down a whole step or a half step to E flat. So I'm going to play it on the guitar. And I'm going to play it in E because I have not tuned down. I'm also not playing a Stratocaster upside down. I'm playing a Martin. That's okay. All right. Can you hear me all right? <laughs> okay. Second camera looking at the looping gear. All right. Well, I'll bring that camera back when it's more loop o'clock. Right now we're just gonna just gonna play the guitar. Let me tilt this down a bit so you can see this beautiful Martin. Thanks. Big shout out to David Ludlow for the for the hookup on this. Let's uh, get that back through the pedals. Ah, can we give bad tips? Listen, any tips you give here are great tips. And if you want to give tips. You can do it in the virtual tip jar. Go to that fiddlehell.org slash online. 80% of that goes to me. 20% goes to Fiddle Hell. It costs $10 million to send a student to Fiddle Hell. So I'm just kidding. It probably costs less than that. But uh, you could give $30,000, $40 million, whatever you want to give. Greatly appreciate it. Or, you know, whatever. Anyway, here's a tune by... Uh, Jimi Hendrix, this one's called Red House. All right. Make sure I'm loaded up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is an E, in case you want to jam along. Slow, so you got lots of time to think. Say 
said there's a red house over yonder that's where my baby stays well there's a red house over yonder man that's where my baby stays Well, I ain't been home to see my baby in about 99 and one half days. About time I see her. All right, why don't you take a little solo, nice and slow. Are you jamming along at home? Wait a minute, something's wrong here. Said the key won't open the lock on this door. Whoa, wait a minute, something's wrong, baby. Said the key won't open the lock on this door. I got a bad, bad feeling that my baby don't live here no more. All right. where I come from Cause if my baby don't love me no more I know her sister will Your turn playing there. Oh, Eric Clapton's in the chat. Hey, how's it going, Eric? There's a red house over yonder. Oh, that's where my baby stays. Well, I ain't been home to see my baby. Oh, 
that was fun. Yeah, all right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for those who have tipped and contributed. I appreciate that. I really appreciate your support. I can't pay my water bill without your help. So if you, uh, you're feeling generous, you're feeling like you want to help ease my blues, you can give at fiddlehell.org slash online. You can also mail a check. There's instructions there. And if you're a patron of mine, some of these requests that I'm playing were from patrons. So uh, if, you, uh, if you're a patron on Patreon, then you may have already made some requests. So the next one I'm going to do is actually a, uh, a patron request. This one comes from a, a patron outside of Chicago. He asked if I would play the song Florida Blues. Now, uh, this is an old traditional song. It's in the O'Connor Method book, in case you have that lying around at home. It's in book two. Uh, so it's a fun one. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. It's in the key of D, same as all the other ones so far, 12 bars, 4 on measure 5, and keep going. There's some good slides in this one. I hope you'll enjoy. So uh, let's check it out. Oops, what happened there? Let me turn back on camera. Not that I need it yet, but that's all right. Okay, Florida Blues. Let's do it. Key of D. A one, a two, a one, a two, a three. for me. I appreciate it, by the way. Oh, I got stuck. Together, 
together. so nice all right yes uh david you jammed with vassar clements on that oh amazing oh man what a great one <laughs> i'm seeing some great great comments in the chat here thank you everybody who's chiming in and saying hello got over 30 people watching and jamming right now thanks herschel christina lev i hope you're watching and maybe jamming along we played red house right up front Thanks for sending me that lick. That was a sweet lick. All right. So what's next in the set? We got, uh, ah, I know what I'm going to do next. I said I was going to play for you. Uh, oh, come on. Hey, now, internet, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you freezing on me? I'm doing like 12 things at once. There's 630 bajillion devices plugged in here. So I can't see if I'm still streaming or not, but I'm hearing the audio. But the screen won't jump back to say that I... Oh, okay, good. Now we're back. All right. I'm going to play for you one now. Uh, this is an original tune of mine <laughs> called Send Me the Recipe. And uh, shout out to Sarah Gorak, who figured out what was going on earlier when I plugged in some loops. I actually didn't delete them. So if I just, uh, if I just go like this... They're still going. And I'm going to use them again. We're going to do another blues and A. So if you jammed successfully on that first one, you can play on Send Me the Recipe. This one has a little call and response hiding in it. Yep, Sarah's already on it. <laughs> Anytime I say, hey, baby, I want you to say that back. And I'll be able to tell. You could type it in the chat if you really want me to see it, but I'm not going to feel it if you type it. I need you to shout it. Just let loose a little bit. Hey, baby! Try it out. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Bet you could be a little more. But that's all right. We'll get into it. And every time I say, send me, I want you to do that back. Send me. Hey, baby! Send me. All right, you got the hang of it. Let's play a little bit. some of the spice I wasn't really sure uh, but it seemed so very nice so I called out to my lover and I asked if she would tell me what's the thing you cooking cause I like the way it smells hey baby hey baby oh you're cooking something good hey baby hey baby Ooh, you know it's understood 
I want you to send me, send me the recipe, the recipe. All right, let's play an electric fiddle solo. Do the same thing there. Oh, maybe with a little slide action. Gotta leave some space there, right? something that I found online. I said, wherever you found it, it's a very nice mix. The way them flippers blend, they make me want to get my fix. I hope you made a lot of it, a very large amount. But as long as I'm with you, well, it's the company that counts. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, you're cooking something good. Hey baby, ooh, you know it's understood. I want you to send me, send me the recipe, the recipe. All right, your turn. Let's hear you now. All right. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Tell me some more. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, what's up, Ariel? Good to see you. All right. Oh, go on, go again, go again. Let's play some call and response. I'll play when you play it back. You play that back. All right, my turn again. just playing C-ish. It's not quite C. It's not quite C-sharp. <laughs> Let's play that some more, but with an open E as well. My turn. steps but the way you work your magic oh girl i can only guess i need that extra special flavor only you provide i need you girl to make me feel good inside hey baby hey baby Ooh, you're cooking something good hey baby hey baby I want you to send me, send me the recipe. Let's do that ending. Tag it three times on that. I want you to send me, send me the recipe, the recipe, the recipe. One more. I want you to send me, send me the recipe.
<laughs> Great job, everybody. Send me the recipe. All right. You're also encouraged and invited to send me your tips and donations to pay for my water bill. Look how little water I have there. So you can help pay for my water bill. <laughs> All right. It's the company that counts. Yes, indeed. And I'm delighted to have the company of all you folks joining in and jamming along with me. That's so fun. Okay, so now, why don't we play a little bluegrass? I think that'd be nice. So I'm going to switch over to the Git Fiddle. Mm -hmm. Let's play one that's on the common tune list. That might be nice. I've been practicing my guitar a lot. Clearly, I have not been practicing my cable management. All right. There we go. Boom shakalaka. It's getting darker over here. Ooh. How's that? That's a little bit better. How about a little big sciota or big sciote, depending on what part of town you're in, named after a river. Rivers are usually blue. I think it counts. All right. All right. So I'm going to first play the chords and might even uh, might even loop them just in case. <laughs> so these are the chords that I'm doing. People have a bunch of different chords, but you can play along if you like. Okay. One, two, three, and. C, D, G. C. B part goes to the five. Six, five, one. And that again. Sounds like we got it. way off from my loop. Looping is a high-risk activity. Loop grass Ain't no part of nothing.
made it. <laughs> Nicely done, everybody. <laughs> you probably played that melody better than me. <laughs> All right. The blues in A. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> Bad tip. Drink milk before singing. Oh, my goodness. These are some serious tips and comments coming in here. <laughs> All right. So uh, next up, I thought we'd do... Uh, I think I'd pull out the mandolin because I haven't played the mandolin yet. And I'll play uh, probably the oldest song on the set for today. This is one that goes way back. It was recorded first in 1928 by Leroy Carr. It's called the How Long, How Long Blues. That's twice. That's How Long, How Long. Now this one's kind of fun because uh, it's got a bit of a not normal form when we think about 12 bar blues it's it's a little shorter than that really it's only eight but it still does the three phrases thing so uh yeah that's uh <laughs> sunlight right in my eyes okay everybody doing all right having a good time Extra bad tip, don't tune your mandolin. <laughs> you know what they say, they say people spend about 50% of their time tuning their mandolin and the other 50% playing out of tune. <laughs> All right, so this one's an eight bar blues. I'll play it once, just the form so you can hear. Then it goes to the G. Back to D, then an A, then D, and I do this. Let's try it. How long, baby, how long has that evening train been gone? How long, how long? Didn't see no train Down in my heart I have a neck and pain How long How long How long Baby, how long Alright, play us something D blues, y'all Feel it. You don't say. Oh, come on, tell me a little more. Bill Monroe is in the chat. Hi, Bill. times that once I have had how long how, how long baby how long I could see the green grass growing on the hill I ain't seen no green back on a dollar bill how long
gonna be sorry You'll feel so blue When you want me, baby I declare that I won't want you How long? How, how long? Baby, how long? Don't have no money For to ride the train I would ride the rise, baby, just to be with you again. How long? How, how long? Baby, how long? All right, play us one more. the How Long Blues. That was fun. <laughs> All right. I did not know that tip it is a palindrome. That is very cool. Well, you can tip it over at the virtual tip jar if you're so inclined. That would be very nice of you. Fiddle Hell. Go support scholarships to Fiddle Hell as well as yours truly and my rapidly diminishing water bill. Mm. You know, gotta gotta figure that out. All right, so that was a great one. Now let's do uh, let's do some more bluegrass. I think that might be fun. Let's do another one from the common tune list, and I'll do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna play the play the chords on the guitar, and then uh, we'll have something to jam with. <laughs> I'm gonna try a, a death-defying stunt. I'm gonna loop the chords and then try and play the mandolin. <laughs> Maybe I can do both. Maybe I can loop both. That's crazy, right? Seems absolutely madness. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the pedal cam here. All right, you can see my guitar. Let's do Blackberry Blossom, key G, and uh, scooch up a little bit so my hands are in the shot. <laughs> Get this guitar strap over my head so it's not in the way of my hands. Okay. I think that's a nice tempo, right? Not too fast. Just okay. One, two, three chords. G, D, C, G, C, G, A, D, G, D, C, G, C, G, D, G. That's a lot, right? Well, once you can do this one, you can do them all. is E minor, B, C, D, D, G, 
take a second to wrap your head around that. That's really just a scale. G, F, G, B, D, C, right, all the way down. You could play a friend of the devil on top of this and make every bluegrass traditionalist very upset at you. So don't do it. Oh, there goes my pedal cam. <laughs> Turn that back on and off. It needs some TLC. Okay, now we're ready. All right, let's do it. Awesome. What a great tune. All right. Well, I hope that was just as fun for you as it was for me. My, uh, my lupa, my lupa is really, uh, not particularly on sync. Part of the challenge is the latency. What hits my headphones hits those a little bit earlier, or hits them a little bit later than the loop in the looper. So if I was out of sync, I'm blaming the band. 
Anyway, I'm going to continue now with a kind of a jazzy blues. This one came out of the Looping Master class. It's called The Blues Over and Over Again. I posted the sheet music, but uh, for your convenience, here it is right here. <laughs> so I'm going to, there's the chords up on screen. Uh, I'm going to loop the chords. Let me just turn on my bass. Actually, let's get some nice. Uh... Can you hear that okay? play that one over and over again it would be so fun but I won't do that 
Here's something I don't want to have to say over and over again, but it's fun because I made this slide just to say it. Thanks for your tips. I appreciate all of you who have been tipping so far. I'm going to be on for quite a bit more because uh, the plan was to do an hour, and I'm only halfway through my set list, so let's just keep rocking. All right. I want to do one that I don't think has ever been performed at Fiddle Hill, and it's a really, really awesome blues. Now we're starting to get some, some flavor. I'm going to do one now called Messing with the Kid. This is originally by Junior Wells. Uh, that was uh, actually, he's, uh, he's not the writer of it. It was written by Mel London, but Junior Wells was the first to record it. And uh, he does an amazing, amazing version of it. I first heard this actually uh, as a, a clip of Johnny Winter, a great, uh, great blues musician. His brother, Edgar Winter, uh, also like albino, he was the one who did uh, Frankenstein. You remember that? So his brother, Johnny Winter, is a great blues guitarist, and he did a cover of this, and I was like, whoa, I gotta learn that. The thing I love about it is there's two little riffs. One of them is the melody idea, which goes like this. That's at the end of each 12 bars. And then there's this background part that the bass and the guitar do in unison. It goes like this on the four chord. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Messing with the kid. All right. Got my lyrics because I have a memory like a Swiss cheese holes. All right. Let's do it. All right. One, two. A one, two. Start with the lick. Hey, hey, oh, look at what you did. Call it 
But you wanna call it messing with the kid. Your turn. with the kid I hope you're not messing with the kid <laughs> all right okay now let's stay on uh, stay on the guitar for this next one I'm gonna do one that was a request by uh, one of my patrons on patreon this is an old classic that Doc Watson made famous it's called Deep River Blues <laughs> with me I'll go down don't you see cause I got them deep river blues now I'm just gonna say goodbye and if I sink just let me die cause I got them Oh, 
as long as I can be forever blue. Let the rain drop out on, let the waves sweep along, cause I've got them deep river blues. All right, <laughs> that is a fun one. I have never actually performed that in public, so that's a world premiere. Certainly jammed it, but uh, that was a, I, mean, I guess I did jam it just now. All right. Oh, man, so many people tipping and giving their support. Thanks for sharing the love, y'all. I really appreciate that contribution to the uh, virtual tip jar. Help me pay my water bill. Can't afford water, so, you know, you don't have to give, be a millionaire. You don't even have to be a thousandaire. But uh, the more you can give, the more it helps me and also supports Fiddle Health. What a great community and organization putting this together. Big shout out to Dave Reiner for that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And Dave has commented some wonderful things about the upcoming concerts that we've got planned. That's very exciting. So looking forward to those in November. In the meantime, we're just, uh, we're just hanging out here. So I'm going to do another one for you now. This one's not a blues by any traditional standard, but it's definitely bluesy. One of my favorite songs played by the Cannonball Adderley Quintet. And... Uh, I've arranged it for guitar. It's called Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. And there's a part, well, most of it goes back and forth between just two chords, F and B flat. But there's another part of it that goes. <laughs> I messed that up. And then it goes. confuse me. All right now, let's get funky. How often do you play an F? Be honest. I'm just going to hang out on this vamp for a while. Disregard the form. Just back and forth between F and B flat. You can make them spicy, seventh chords. loop that. That's the, that's the regular loop.
That's nice. goes together well. You're supposed to leave space and you can hear where you are in the loop. Alright, I'll play a phrase, you try and play it back. Start down F. You. Me. You. Me. You. Tricky with the A flats, right? for the fiddlers. Mercy, mercy, mercy on me. You know, first time I've ever performed that one on the guitar in public. Didn't go exactly as planned, but that's what jam's all about, right? Okay, so that was a fun jazzy number. If you like that one, go check out Ken Ball Adderley. Really amazing saxophone player. That song was written by Joe Zawinul, who was his keyboard player. Uh, but uh, it was made famous by the Cannonball Adderley Quintet. All right, now I'm going to do an old sort of gospel blues number. This one's attributed to the uh, the good uh, the good Reverend Gary Davis, blind uh, blind preacher in the city of New York. It's called Twelve Gates to the City. All right, and this one's also got a weird crooked form. I'm going to do it in the key of G. enough. Okay, so the form is sort of a chorus and then there's a verse and there's some stops in the verse, right? So the words are almost always, oh, what a beautiful city. Yes, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. Twelve gates to the city. Hallelujah. All right, so we'll do that. And then there'll be some stops. 
But every every phrase always ends with twelve gates to the city, hallelujah. Sarah Gorak, I thought of you. That Hawaiian turnaround kind of thing ends up there. I learned it from Michael Tarbox and the Tarbox Ramblers, and he does that. I've also heard some recordings where they do sort of a gospel hallelujah. Just a one four one, but I'm gonna do this. I don't know what those chords are called, but it's a nice little turnaround. You can just play a G on that part if you want. All right, 12 Gates to the City. Another Patreon request. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon for coming up with all these great songs for me to play. All right, a one, two, a one, two, three. Say it all, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. 12 Gates to the City, hallelujah. That makes 12 gates to the city, hallelujah. All right, chorus now. Oh, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. Oh, what a beautiful city. 12 gates to the city, hallelujah. All right, gentlemen. Patreon request. Uh, Austin's Bluegrass Gospel Harmonies with this would be awesome. Yes, Austin, if you're watching this later, I hope you're singing along. All right. So now, uh, how about a little bit more bluegrass? And I've got one that's kind of not exactly bluegrass, not exactly blues, but somehow both. Do one for you. This is a Towns Van Zant song that. Uh, I've heard a few folks in the bluegrass community play very well. I'm going to butcher it in contrast. It's a... Uh White Freightliner Blues. It's a Towns Van Zant number. So it's a 12-bar it's a blues. It's pretty fast. Uh, it's in the key of A, the way I'm playing it. Capo 2. And uh, it starts on the 4 chord. I'm not going to attempt any sort of looping on this one. Just just old school. So it goes like this. Starts on the floor. Then it does it again. Then, uh, sorry. Five, four, and then one. All right, make 
make sense, everybody? You good out there? People in the chat? Oh, how about that? Brian Sutton's in the chat. Hey, Brian. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope Brian Sutton is not watching this, watching me mangle it. Uh, if you haven't seen Molly Tuttle's video on this, she's tremendous. Uh, there's a video of her with like 12 camera angles on how she switches between melody and flat pick. It's just, just amazing. Molly Tuttle, great, great player. All right, but here's my attempt. I'm going out on the highway Listen to them big trucks run. I'm going out on the highway Listen to them big trucks run. It's a bad news from Houston Half of my friends, they are dying Well, it's bad news from Houston Half of my friends are dying Get back to where I came. The little white freight line is gonna steal away my brain. It just did. <laughs> uh, well, New Mexico ain't bad, Lord. The people there they treat you kind. Well, New Mexico ain't bad, Lord. That's a good one. All right. Oh, hey, Tom. What's happening? Oh, man. Tom Morley's in the chat. Great Irish fiddle player living down in Chattanooga. He does a lot of great jam sessions. If you're not following Tom, you should check him out. He's taught at Fiddle Hell many a time. Great, great musician, great guy all around. I wish I could get down to see you, but i um, not on the Megabus much these days. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, thank you to all of all the folks who have tipped so far want to uh, continue to remind you that. Thanks for everybody who's done so. Oh, I put away the guitar too early because uh, what's coming up next is a Patreon special request. And uh, this is a song that I really love. And uh, shout out to Avi Salloway, my brother from another mother. Avi taught me this song. It's a Taj Mahal song. And uh, I'm going to try and sing it in Taj's original key. Um, if you'd like to be the one making the requests next time, 
jump on that Patreon page and say a little hello there. It's got lots of stuff that's only available on that website. Okay, so we're going to do a really great Taj Mahal song now called Queen Bee. This is a request from a patron of mine, so uh, I hope you enjoy. All right. It's my fingerstyle guitar. Not as good as... <laughs> That's going to have to do. All right. So. my patreon patrons for suggesting that one all right got to uh, got five more songs for you now if you were planning on just sticking around for a little bit I understand if you want to hang out for five more songs we got five more songs and I'm sweating up a storm here so wipe that down how are we doing in the chat here everybody all right 
Tip jar will be open after the jam. Oh, no tips in 20 minutes. Oh, oh, oh David, you're making me so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's so sad. You could fix that. Jump on over. Help out. Throw a little in the tip jar. Support Fiddle Hell. Those folks are extra awesome and we want to support them. Okay. Gonna do another one that's kind of bluegrassy, kind of swingy. And uh, I like it very much. It's got the word blues in the title. It's a good one. I'm gonna play the chords and I'm gonna loop them. And then, uh, then we can get into it. All right. Let's go over here for a minute. All right. It's called the East Tennessee Blues. Key of C. There's one of those two fives I love so much. Does that again. anything that has a 251 ah, seems good seems good all right so we've got that in there let's play the tune Just play C major-ish things. <laughs> it's got a two-five-one in it, so you can get away with anything that you want, right? Here's the B part. My turn. Thank you. 
Bobby Hicks there. Let's go on back here to the chat. See what's happening. How are we doing? Ha, ah, yes, there were some jazz jokes in there. I quoted my own blues in the East Tennessee Blues. Good catch. Nicely done. All right. I'm going to do you another one. This is an old classic. It's not technically a blues, but every blues musician I know knows it. And uh, it's just a great tune. Um, The St. James Infirmary. I learned it uh, playing with uh, my buddy uh, Michael Tarbox. He taught me this one. And so I'm going to sing some lyrics that are, I don't know if he added them or if they were uh, other ones that he found from somewhere else. Louis Armstrong made this famous first. Cab Calloway has a great version. Millions of people do great versions of this. But uh, I'm going to play you my, my version. It's sort of a mixture of all those. Okay. So let's get the chords in first. We got D minor, A, D minor again, G minor, same thing, A, then a B flat, A. the G. E flat is nice to the A. All right, so we got those in there. Now I can sing the melody over here. <laughs> All right, St. James Infirmary, y'all, with, uh, with some extra voters. <laughs> I went down to old Joe's barroom On the corner by the square The drinks they were served here as usual The usual crowd was there on my left stood old Joe McKennedy. His eyes, they were bloodshot red. He turned to the crowd all around him. And these are the words he said. I went down to that St. James Infirmary. I saw my baby there She was stretched out on a long white table So cold, so sweet, so fair Sweet as me. All right, your turn now. Here we go. D. You can basically just hang out in D minor. Here's that six, flat six five. Go again.
when I die, I want you all there to bury me. I want a box top stairs in hell. Put a twenty dollar gold piece on my watch chain. So the boys know that I died standing past. I want six gamblers to be my pallbearers and a pretty girl to sing me a song. <laughs> Put the three ball on top of my hearse wagon, raising hell as we roll along. Well, now that you've all heard my story, won't you pour me another shot of booze? If someone should stop here to ask you, just tell them I had that gambler's blues. I ah, see it's a blues. I went down to that St. James Infirmary. I saw my baby there. She was stretched out on a long white table So cold, so sweet, so fair So cold, so sweet, so The St. James Infirmary, or Infirmary, if you're one of the Marx Brothers. <laughs> oh, oh, you folks like my uh, like my reverb effects there. Yes, I brought in a little special effects to make that one extra spooky. That's the song that's most about death. <laughs> okay, so now let's do this. Let's go ahead and do uh, some nice... Uh, That's the wrong. <laughs> I forgot. I want to do a thing in E flat that's really slow, right? So I prepared this in case you want to jam. This is "Things Ain't What They Used to Be," says Duke Ellington, but it was really written by his son, Mercer Ellington, during a copyright strike. up a little bit. It's really slow. Check it out. Let's do those chords one more time with the less glitchy bass part. Let's do it. That's that turnaround. There we go. It's in there. Success. <laughs> so this is a super slow swanky blues called Things Ain't What They Used To Be. And it's true. We're in the middle of a global pandemic. 
used to be able to play this with humans. So we all got the blues a little bit. If you're playing an E flat and you're on a violin, you want to play all of that in there. Or either pentatonic scale will work really nice. All right, let's do it, y'all. Here's things ain't what they used to be. Smith. Go Google Stuff Smith and then come back and let's jam. <laughs> Those nice looping layers. Hey, what's up, dear? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look at all these wonderful things. Oh, yeah. All right. My turn, y'all. Let's do it. Here I go. It's okay.
like what they used to be. All right. That was fun. All right, I've got two more for you. And one of these was a special request from a patron who's none other than uh, Dave Reiner. Dave supports me on Patreon. What a good guy. You can, uh, you can support me on Patreon as well, too. Patreon.com slash Rob Flax, and your requests will be honored. <laughs> uh, so this one is the one that I've never performed before, and uh, I feel like in order to play it right, I have to do it uh, on a different fiddle. I'll still loop, I'll loop a part uh, with this fiddle. Let's do this. that in there. I have to play it on a five string. This is a special request by Dave.
the Evening Prayer Blues. It's written by DeFord Bailey, who was the first ever black musician to perform at the Grand Old Opry. Uh, he's a big fan, uh, big fan of his music. Uh, Bill Monroe was a big fan of DeFord Bailey's music, and so uh, he took him on the road with him as the opening act, which was a pretty groundbreaking thing at the time. And uh, so shout out to Bill Monroe for not sucking in that particular way. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Daryl Anger, who uh, I first heard his version of that and was trying to do my own little fancy reharmonization of it. So that was my that was my shout out to uh, uh, to uh, to Daryl and to DeFord, and uh, want to dedicate that one to the late great Amy Phelps, missing Amy right now, and sending love to Daryl and the whole crew. Love you guys. All right, um, I got time for one more, and thank you to everybody who's been sticking around. Thank you to everybody who has been uh, throwing some cash in the tip jar. Uh, we're going to shake, rattle, and roll to end it up here. I'm uh, going to do this one in the key of A, I think. And, uh, man, let me just get out of that. <laughs> okay, yeah, key of A. Um... Big Joe Turner, the boss of the blues, did this one and uh, he kind of made it famous. Uh, let's do it with a little dirt. Oh yeah, that's nice. No, that's not, that's not a good loop though. Nice to have a little bit of a drum groove first. I 
I'm like a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood store. I'm like a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood store. Well, I can look at you till I ain't no child no more. Let's see that shout again. Shake, paddle, and roll. Shake, paddle, and roll. Shake, paddle, and roll. Shake, paddle, and roll. such a great time jamming with you this evening thank you for tuning in if you have other requests that you'd like me to play the next time i jam you can check me out on patreon.com patreon.com slash rob flax and i'll be uploading lots of extra special stuff there but uh i've gone about twice as long as i planned to maybe it's the nature of loopers maybe i just can't help it because it's so fun but either way I'm really grateful to all of you for tuning in. Thanks to Dave and Andy and the Reiner clan writ large for putting this together. Looking forward to making some music with you in November. And uh, I've got a few more things coming up if you want to check out what I've got coming next. I've got uh, a Patreon-only live stream happening this Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern. And then next week I'll be involved in a panel discussion talking about gender and race in classical music institutions and uh, writ large. It's called The Hard Stuff. That's going to be happening on Facebook Live. If you want to tune in to hear about that with a lot of amazing musicians, many of whom from the New England Conservatory, that's Wednesday, August 5th. It's going to be happening at 8 p.m. Eastern. There's details on all my social media about that. And then, uh, you know, occasionally doing other live streams. Got something else coming up in mid-August I haven't announced yet, but... Uh, all that will be revealed. If you sign up for my email list or jump on my Patreon page, you can support and check it out. And uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you had a great time shaking, rattling, and or rolling. If you had some blues, I hope they're much less by now. I'm, I've gone to reds. That's been the way that it shook out for me. So thank you to everybody, and I'm signing off. See you next time. Tune in Sunday. For, uh, for I don't know who's jamming next. Uh, somebody's coming next. Fiddle Hill has lots of great jam sessions. So And Fiddle Hill Online in November, of course. That's right. All right, so thank you, everybody, and have a great night.